I'm Adrian and in this video I'm going to be talking about my Fender Mustang. Now this particular guitar is a 1966 Fender Mustang in Dakota Red I think is the finish and as far as I know it's all original I think original finish original pickups um, this whammy bar doesn't look particularly original but I think I might have the original one hidden away in a box somewhere now I bought this guitar probably in the, the mid 2000s early 2000s and uh, at the time I didn't have that many guitars I think I had my Telecaster maybe my Strat as well um, and I was on the lookout for another guitar and I, I wanted something a little bit different. Um, in a, a band at the time who had uh, a record deal, um, ultimately that didn't amount to, to very much, but it, it did mean that we could uh, be full-time musicians for a little while. And also we had a, a modest equipment budget and uh, with my part of the equipment budget, I managed to get an AC30, um, a black AC30, which I no longer have. And I also got this guitar as well. I got this guitar from Vintage and Rare, I think, in London's Denmark Street. Uh, went in there, uh, assuming that uh, almost everything in there would be out of my price range. But uh, saw this Fender Mustang, uh, fell in love with it, and uh, actually, Mustangs. Are, I'm not sure if it's still the case today, but certainly back then they were reasonably affordable for vintage guitars. I think I paid about seven or eight hundred pounds for this. I think they're a little bit more these days, but nowhere near as outrageously priced as uh, Strats, Tellys or even Jazzmasters are, are, are kind of silly money these days but um, Mustangs for one reason or another never were never that expensive guitars. I think originally Mustangs were designed to be kind of student guitars. Um, it's kind of a way into playing uh, electric guitars and then uh, you're supposed to graduate to one of uh, Fender's more proper guitars like the Strat or the Tele, I guess. But uh, I've always liked Mustangs. Um, I, you know, I like its kind of short scale. It's very, very comfortable. It does almost feel a bit like a toy guitar and I, I quite like that. That kind of inspires you to, to play in a, in a slightly different way, in a bit, maybe in a bit of a less serious way and a bit more of a, an alternative way. So at the time I got this guitar, I was looking for something a little bit more alternative, you know, alternative to the, the more standard kind of telly and strat sounds. And uh, this guitar seemed to fit the bill. I think these kind of, I guess, is this an offset guitar? I think you'd sort of group it in with uh, Jaguars and, and Jazz Masters, that kind of design. And they've always uh, been the guitar of choice for kind of, uh, uh, you know, stroppy contrarian guitar players. And, uh, you know, pe people like... Uh, Sonic Youth, I think, used these, and uh, I think David Byrne used a Mustang. And uh, um, for, for me, the, the, the main association with the Mustang was Kurt Cobain. I was a big teenage 
Nirvana fan, so um, I thought always thought the Mustang looked super cool, and uh, when, when I saw this, um, I, I went for it straight away. <laughs> I think this is a great sounding guitar. It's not the perfect guitar for every single musical situation, I don't think, but uh, when it is the right situation, this guitar is, is perfect. And uh, I don't think it's as, as versatile as a Strat or a Tele. I don't know if I'd want this as my main guitar or my only guitar. Uh, I think that the downsides of it, it um, can be a little bit thin sounding without the, the, the right amp or effects. Uh, the pickups are fairly low, low output, but uh, if you, you spend some time playing with amps, pedals, um, it could sound really, really good. Um, like the fact that it doesn't seem to have as much kind of ring or chime or sustain as some of my other guitars. I quite like that kind of dry quality. One thing that mystifies a lot of people about the Fender Mustang, and including me, I, I have to confess, up until about half an hour ago when I, I googled the, the answers, is the switching system. And I, I've always been one with gear just to play around with whatever knobs and switches you've got on something until it sounds good. But I thought in the interest of not appearing a total ignoramus in this video, I'd actually find out exactly what these switches do and it, it turns out it's not as complicated as, as I'd feared. We've got a three-way selector switch for each pickup so if both switches are, are in the middle both pickups are off and you get no sound. Um, if you put the back switch in, either in the back position or in the forward position it means the bridge pickup is on. Um, it's the same sound wh whether it goes either way it doesn't matter. Same thing with the front pickup you, you push that forward the, the front pickup is active, um, same in the back position. Uh, if you put both pickups switches the same way, or both of them back or both of them forward, then both pickups are on at the same time. Um, again, if they both go forward in the same direction, it's exactly the same sound. Um, I think that's what confused me about these switches, is you can get exactly the same sound with the, the, the pickup switches in different places. And then the only other option is having the two pickups out of phase and, and you get that by having both switches in opposite directions. So either all the way out like that or all the way in. And that gives you that, that kind of squawky, hollow, out of phase sound, which is, is quite nice for certain situations. Great for some kind of funk riffing or something or some uh, interesting single note parts. I don't think I'd want it as my only guitar. It's, it's, for me, it's more of a, a character guitar. And when you do find the right musical situation, it can be absolutely perfect. Um, obviously, it does all of those alternative sounds and things really, really well. I like the fact that, um, you know, true to its origins as a student guitar, it does have a, a slightly cheap and it almost feels like a toy guitar um, at, at times. I hesitate, I hesitate to say it's, it's, it sounds like a cheap guitar, but um, I hope you know what I mean there. It, it sounds sort of slightly less kind of high end and uh, as a, a Strat or, or a Tele, and, and that can be just right for certain things. Um, I like the fact that it doesn't have as much chime or sustain as uh, as my, my Strat, and uh, you know it's it's got a real kind of dirty, earthy character to it when you pair it with the right amp and the right pedals. <laughs> Thank you. 
So that's my Fender Mustang. It's a cool guitar. Really enjoyed playing it whilst I was making this video and I should really start using it a little bit more than I do. Thank you.